So my wife's mad at me now, and I don't know what I could have done to prevent it because there's, I don't really know. I mean, but you tell me. So we were recording a video, and I guess my wife dropped her phone in some water. She picks the phone up, got water all over it. She starts getting the water off. When she looks up to see where I'm at, I'm gone. I disappear like a magician. I'm out of there. She goes to start looking for me, and we're in this big sorority house, right? It's a big sorority house. It's huge. She couldn't find me. All of a sudden, she sees from a distance, she sees me, and I'm in this room with a couple of women, right? So she runs towards the door, and when she tries to get to the door, some other girl pops out of nowhere and starts to try to close the door on my wife. And they start fighting with the door, trying to get in. My wife yelling, the other girl yelling, she trying to get in. But my wife, she, I guess she wasn't strong enough. So the other girl won, right? She got the door closed. So my wife banging on the door, bop, 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 open this door. And I'm in a room, you know, with a couple of women. And I don't really know what happened next because my wife woke up because it was a dream. And now she mad at me because she said it felt realistic. I've never been in a sorority house. I've never been in a sorority house and had multiple women in a room with me. And the fact that she say that felt realistic and that never actually happened to me actually hurts a little bit. It actually hurts because I've never had that experience. But my wife thinks it's realistic. So actually now I'm a little mad too. Screw it, we both just gonna be mad, Dan.